from the great province of Ontario. Just wanted to get in your face this morning and say that. Good morning. It's a new day. We're going to be headed into Guelph today. We're in Wyoming, Ontario. Uh, just inside the Canadian border from the state. So we just crossed over Port Huron into Sarnia. And then we went a little, a little, a little bit further, 20 minutes further. And there's this truck stop here. That's behind me. Can't really see it, but it's a Flying J slash SO slash I don't know what it is. But we stayed here the night. We're awake. Now we've got to go another two hours down the road or so to Guelph. Uh, unload this trailer. There's another trailer waiting there for us. That's taking us down to Mississippi. All right, Mississippi. We're coming down south, so y'all get ready, all right? No, wait, that's not how they say it. Y'all get ready, you hear? I'm sorry, I'm terrible at their accent, but I love their accents down there, so I'm looking forward to going down to Mississippi. Mississippi has like a thick southern accent. It's like a Mississippi accent. Mississippi. I like the south in general, so we're excited to go. But first, we gotta go get rid of this stuff in this trailer, and then go get the other trailer. So let's go do that right now so that we can go south again. America! America! We're going back to America! So we've delivered our freight here, took uh, an hour or so, delivered the freight, had to do some work in the trailer, cleaning it up and whatnot, so now that's all done. I'm hooked onto a new trailer. This trailer's going down to Corinth, Mississippi again, which is a really good run, I really like this, and then from there I'm probably going back over to Atlanta, Georgia again, hanging out in the south down there with my southern friends. I was going to say my southern people, but I'm not really a southern person, I guess. But with your permission, I will be an honorary southern person. Because I like the south so much. I like it down there. Their climate is nice, their people are nice, their roads are nice, their cities are nice. Everything's nice. Everything's nice in the north too, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. It's just, the south has one thing the north doesn't have. Palm trees. Sorry. Canada doesn't have them either, so I mean, we're in no better shape either, so we don't got any palm trees. I will always side with the palm trees. P palm trees are my friend. Whenever you see a palm tree, you have to go and touch it. It's a rule. It's sort of like a thank you for being a palm tree. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. Well, we stopped at the London Flying J there for a shower. And now we are getting back onto the 401. We're gonna go and cross at Sarnia. It's the 402, right? Uh, into Port Huron. That's right, I need cash to pay for that bridge. I should've gotten that here. Shoot, now I'm gonna have to stop again. Oh, I gotta take cash out to cross the bridge at Sarnia. I'm gonna get something like 17 bucks somewhere in there. $16 American, 18 Canadian, something like that. Anyways, we're back on the road. Starting our day officially, kind of really, kind of really, really late. Uh, yeah, well, at least it started. Drive 5.1 kilometers, then take exit 183 on right. To Highway 402 West. 402, I was right. Alright, we're at that Flying J in Wyoming, Ontario. Uh, just before Sarnia, so we're going to be crossing the border right away. I just got to run in here and get some cash for the... for the bridge. We'll be crossing the bridge into the United States of America within the next 45 minutes. So we're just coming into Sarnia here. Uh, we're gonna be crossing the Blue Water Bridge, I believe it's called. I think. I don't know why I thought it was called. I think it's called that, I don't know. The bridge to the other side. The United States of America. We're right at the border right now, so we're almost there. actually a pretty big little town here right at the border. I wonder if most people go to the States to do their shopping here in Sarnia. It must be hard to run a grocery store here and have a gas station here because it'd be cheaper just to go get it in the States. But 
then again, you do have to factor in that you gotta pay to get over the bridge. If the bridge was free, I bet you everybody would just go to the States because it's way cheaper there, right? That'd be terrible for businesses here. <laughs> That's probably why it's a toll bridge. Trucks only. Only. Let's get some of these bugs out of your way here. I put on new wipers the other day. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better. But... Okay, we gotta pay to cross here. Why are you going that way? I'm gonna stay in this lane. So once we get to the other side, we gotta go through customs convince them and prove to them that we're not a terrorist, that we're good people, and then we'll be on our way. Just another day in the life. The city of Detroit, Motor City. Sort of like Continue the... 1.8 kilometers, then take exit 215A on left to M10 South. Sort of like the center for automobile stuff. Sort of. For General Motors, right? What do I know? I don't know. It's Detroit. So, uh, I don't know how far down we're going to go. I'd like to go another two hours today yet at least. Not sure where we're going to park. I'm probably going to have to reset on the road somewhere. After Mississippi and I'll probably go back to Atlanta, Georgia and we'll see how we feel then and how things are going. We still got to get through Ohio and Ohio from Toledo South, pretty much from Toledo to Dayton, if I remember correctly, is construction. Uh, no Mandy, no. No, thank you. I'm not going downtown. I know where I'm going. I think. Wait a second. Why are you telling me to go that way? Why? Well, now I'm worried. Why was she telling me to go that way? I think I gotta stay on this road. Well, I guess we'll find out in a minute if we got lost or not. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting weasels. Yeah, I think not hunting weasels, man. It's not very nice. <laughs> we just got uh, down here. We're south of Toledo. Uh, quite a way south of Toledo already, actually. But uh, here we are. And I just stopped Drive for a little... Drive 147 Really? Kilometers. Gonna interrupt my vlog. Parked at the... What? She doesn't. She's drunk. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Gotta lay off the drink in there, Mandy. I know you're not driving. But you're still working, and you shouldn't be drinking at work. I'm gonna have to put her in a support group or something. Crazy woman. What was I saying now? Okay, yeah, I stopped here for a little break, gotta walk the boys and whatnot, and I've been uh, diff trying to uh, uh, budget and find out prices and differences for vlogger fare and vidcon uh, if I drive there or if I fly there and which one's cheaper and that means I have to pay for my flight there plus the motels while I'm there I mean like I've budgeted that I could afford it but why would I want to spend that much if I could just drive right so I could either take the truck there make some money on the way there but what I'm most likely gonna do is just make it into like a little bit of a work vacation working vacation and take my pick up there I'm planning on getting like an old cheap little camper this summer like I really want to buy like this old camper it doesn't have to be new it just has to be in good shape and able to go like a couple thousand miles right <laughs> I wanted to buy it for winter time so that when I take my time off that I can go down south for a few weeks and you know live in a camper and camp out and you know hibernate from winter. It doesn't have to be fancy at all, just something that's sealed up and has air conditioning and a washroom and shower in there and whatnot. You know, just the basics. It could be like a 70s or 80s model. If any of you have a camper, hmm? no, 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 I won't do that to you because I don't know where you guys all live. You guys are all over the continent and I don't want to go far to pick this thing up <laughs> and I need to bring it home to uh, prepare it for the trip. So it's 
It's got to be around the Manitoba, Saskatchewan, western, northwestern Ontario area, even North Dakota, South Dakota, you know, around Manitoba. Uh, if you guys do have a camper or whatnot, send me a message. Hey, I, I ruin really old. I don't want to spend a lot of money. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm cheap. I'm cheap. Anyways, I'm thinking. I have this pickup, right? Tow the camper behind the pickup. Drive to Seattle, drive to Anaheim this summer, right? It's like a vacation. I already have some friends that are coming with me. Like, James is coming with me to Seattle, and I believe John wants to come with me. Uh, JP wants to come with me to Anaheim. Uh, it's not guaranteed if JP's coming to Anaheim. He really, really wants to. It's like probably 85, 90% sure at this exact moment. At least that's how I feel. He hasn't really given me a number. But uh, I know he really wants to come. And James is 100% going to Seattle with me. So those of you who will be in Seattle, or the area there. James will be there as well. If you don't want to meet me and you want to meet him, he'll be there. He's coming with. And, uh, yeah, so we could drive there. We don't have to pay all these hotels on the way there, right? So say we're going to stay there for four nights. That's four nights of hotels there, plus hotel on the way there, and a hotel on the way back. If we have a camper with us, we're going to sleep in a camper. And then it's much cheaper, even if I'm only getting like 12 miles per gallon in my truck pulling this camper. I'm not too sure what to expect because I'm averaging 18 miles per gallon uh, in my pickup just driving around home and stuff like a little bit of local stuff 18 miles per gallon but on the highway I should be getting more right but if I'm pulling a trailer I'm thinking am I getting all this anyways I'm going on and on about this right you guys don't care anyway that's what I've been doing right now I've been debating uh, how I'm going to get to VidCon in Anaheim and Vlogger Fair in Seattle this summer right now it looks like I'll be driving Yes, I know I have uh, a limit of kilometers on my pickup. So if I go way over, I'll just have to buy it. Or I can just fly out next year and save the kilometers next year. I don't know. Well, still a bit of time to decide, but we'll see. It would be nice not to have motels. I can just sleep in a camper. Editing time. Editing time. Editing, 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 editing. Every time there's editing involved. <laughs> yep. We have reached the end of our day. So we've done a lot of thinking, like I said in my last trip. Just been trying to plan out this summer. I've been really looking forward to it since last summer, so that's why I've been talking about it a lot. I'm just really excited about it. It's a big event for me. It's a big summer, and it's gonna be my first year at VidCon, and I really, really wanted to go last year, and pff, couldn't. So we'll figure out what I can do this year. But anyways, I'm just hanging out here in the truck, getting everything finished up. I thank you for watching. I thank you. I thank you for watching this vlog. Yes, I'm so tired. I can't even talk right. I'm just pretty much gonna put this footage onto the computer. I think, and I'll deal with this tomorrow. But. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. There is links down below in the description to past vlogs of mine all the way up to a year ago Go ahead check them out. See what I've been up to for the past year You can see me with a big beard If you go back far enough. You can see me with no beard You're gonna have to go back pretty far, but you, you, you can find it. I've been doing this for quite a while Thanks to all of you who come and say hi to me uh, when you meet me I Realize there's dog food in the background. It looks kind of messy Whatever. Uh, when you come and see me you come and say hi to me. I saw Larry the other day What's your name? Okay, let's try this again. I always appreciate when you guys come and say hi to me. Almost every day already, someone's recognizing me out on the road there. You guys come say hi to me. I really appreciate that. As long as uh, you can see me in the cab, come up and say hi to me. I mean, I wouldn't want you to wake me up. That might not be the most pleasant first reaction, or first impression, but <laughs> I like my sleep. But I'll talk to you tomorrow. Anytime after 4 a.m.